How's it going, YouTube? And uh, other social media. Today I wanted to do a little video just regarding the Subaru oil filters. Um, just wanted to kind of educate you guys on the uh, quality, usages, information, just things like that. So let's start it off with the uh, OEM Subaru filter. I know a lot of people have been using this without any issues. And I have been too. But I wanted to take a look at a couple of alternatives. Maybe some more information, diving a little bit deeper in the effectiveness, the longevity, the type of materials used, manufacturing, etc. So with that being said, the Subaru OEM filter is actually made by Fram. Um, I don't know when they started doing this, but they used to be made in Japan uh, by Roki. So now when you go to look at them, it says made in US. Um, so I do know a another YouTuber, he did a video where he cut them and he kind of just showcased the materials that they used and the longevity. After 5,000 miles, a Subaru uh, oil filter starts to show uh, heavy signs of wear. Uh, the paper filter starts to deteriorate and that becomes an issue because that can end up in your engine. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to use these anymore because they're manufactured by Fram and they're just not as good as they used to make them. So yeah, I'm not going to be using the Subaru blue oil filter anymore. But uh, I have like a bunch of these. If anybody wants them for 3,000 mile intervals, they're perfectly fine. Been using them through five Subarus already, on and off. Never had issues, but uh, I'm moving on um, for good reasons. So, moving on. Here's the new filter that I'm going to be using for now on. It's actually a Mazda cross reference. Um, the number is N3R1 dash. 14-302 these are made in japan uh these are the uh these are made by roki uh, so like the old black filters that subaru used to have let's uh let's crack it into it real quick a little bit of jdm information uh just telling you to apply a thin film of oil before screwing on but uh yeah let's take a look at it um, so right off the bat, you start to understand this thing's got way more capacity. It has the same little finger grooves to grab onto. They're about the same width, with the black one being slightly wider. So it's taller and wider. Um, as you can see, the oil passages are a lot different. This one has six large passes, where this one has two, four, six, eight, ten. So uh, I immediately uh, observed differences in quality. Um, this one looks nice and polished metal. This metal doesn't look so good. Here, I'm just gonna open this thing up. There you go. And then the nice Mazda filter. So yeah, it's the uh, Tokyo Roki. N3R1-14302, same thread pattern. Uh, I think there's minor differences in the PSI. This one is like 23 on the valve. Uh, I don't know too much about how that affects it, but um, this is a much better oil filter by all means. So um, they cut this open and they observed it after 5,000 miles and there wasn't any signs of failure in the paper filter element, what have you. So yeah. Just want to do a little quick review, a little heads up. You might want to switch to the Mazdas, because that's what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, if this uh, video helped you or gave you any kind of information, just go ahead and hit the like and subscribe, I guess. And uh, go ahead and message me if you have any questions. If you want to buy uh, a couple of these, I have like I think uh, four to five of these left I'll do at pretty good cost, so. 
Yeah, man. Didn't think I'd be running a Mazda oil filter on my Subaru. Cheers. <laughs>